So if you're just joining us on our Tiny Home Camper XB build, in the previous vlogs, we've already prototyped some of the furniture that's going inside here, including our extendable cot, the table slash sink, as well as the cabinet shelving unit, which is kind of falling apart right now. Basically, all we really have to do now is take all of these black uh, foam core cutouts that I've created and cut it out using the real wood. Uh, running some errands right now, grabbing some gas at my local 7-Eleven. Did you guys know that I actually used to work at the bakery that made all of the baked goods for all of the 7-Elevens here in Calgary? I was underage, first of all, uh, but my brother got me this job at this bakery, which was halfway across the city, and I'd have to wake up at 6 a.m. every... Well, not even 6, it'd have to be like 4.35, because I'd have to take a bus ride and then a train ride all the way to this bakery. And it was a hard job, but what's crazy is like all of the workers there were... Lolas, so all grandmas doing such heavy duty, grueling, heavy machinery lifting work, it was intense. But the upside, and there's always pros to cons, and cons to pros, but always be looking on the bright side of things. At the end of every day, whatever leftover baked goods was, well, leftover, we got to take home. I remember bringing home like boxes, saran wrap, whatever we could take on the train really, still tastes the same. I remember being on the conveyor belt, putting in all of the whipped cream and all of these, like, we had to make 400 to 500. They never had this version. It's like a vanilla. Mm. Anyways, today I have some art to do, and I mean, I still wanted to keep up with the daily vlogs, every other day vlog, I guess, for the automotive channel, this channel. So here I am, I just decided to turn on the camera and whatever happens happens it's a foggy one today boys this is silent hill level well i don't know if i'm even gonna park the frs who's that are you the gohan are you the gohan oh yeah your bum time to get the day started Yo, so we back at the shop and we're here to finish up our cabinet system. Uh, if you weren't here for the last vlog, we actually already mocked it up. So all we really have to do now is take our prototype cabinet boards and cut it out in real wood. Also guys, check. Some of the stuff we ordered off Amazon arrived, including our water pump, AKA automatic faucet and our very own little power inverter, except this one, looks tiny and I've actually kind of already peeked inside. I'm not sure if this is gonna be able to handle all of the electronics that I want to place inside the car, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Smart electric pump. The inverter's by Cobra if you're wondering, but it's only 500 watts. That'll power like your laptop and like smaller gadgets, um, but not for a long time. There's so many things that I ordered off of, oh, look at that. We're still waiting on our mini fridge, which is gonna fit perfectly under the table. Like I tried measuring everything out perfectly. The inverter, we're probably gonna be putting it in the hidden floor. If it's under there, I still have to figure out all the wiring setup and stuff, but I also plan on having a solar panel on the roof. So that's gonna be fed through coming into the inverter to power this up all the time. And I can always attach more batteries to that thing too. We will play around with later. Now for the cabinet doors, we're using this because it is a little bit lighter but still sturdy enough. Um, we're also gonna be using this as our tabletop, but we're gonna make sure that it is reinforced underneath so um, that we can actually draw on top of it. So today's plan is mainly finish up our cabinet system and the table slash sink. And if we have time, maybe start on the flooring because we have that too. This, oh man, I actually, yeah. I have everything planned out in my head. It's just literally put in the time and effort. So let's begin. Also, a lot of you guys were making fun of me last video about using a circular saw on cutting the wood. Well, I brought this this time. It's just I left it at the other garage. This should make things a lot easier. Plus, less poisonous for the lungs. Let's get started. Voila. We'll be right back. Is check it. 
Oh no! This right here is very fragile. It's just like an aluminum edge. We're gonna go underneath this. This. Okay, it's too long for me to even fit it, but you guys get the idea. We also picked up our sink, which like I'll show you guys how this works. This isn't a dog bowl, homie. I'm just basically gonna cut out this circle. Maybe go in like a few centimeters so that this fits in perfectly. Here, you know what? We can actually open this up. Our faucet. This tiny home is so quaint, I love it. All right, so this is our electric or automatic water dispenser. And I am just gonna mock it up here. I want it so, like we're gonna have our five liter water jug underneath it or I think two and a half, a little smaller than those water jugs that you see at an office. If this goes far enough into the table, it should be enough to fit a water bottle, so we can actually get water from this. But also, we can wash our hands. Practically just... Oh! What you wanna do is find the median. Hey! <laughs> Guys, that is Perfect. Obviously, we're not gonna be allowing this to overfill with, oops, overfill with water. So, I don't know why I say so like that. Grab our faucet, the water bottle underneath. Oh, that is so perfect. Beautiful. And we can wash our hands. Like, beep, pshhh. This is actually making me so excited. The strainer. So, we're probably gonna end up using the bigger one just to make it more like a sink. And then from there, I'm actually gonna create a tube system uh, that goes from there all the way down into a water jug underneath the platform. That is snug perfect. Let's keep that. I'm just gonna montage the next several hours here because sometimes vlogging is what makes projects take longer than they should, you know? Whereas I could just be solely focused on whatever project I'm working on and not have to worry about where the camera is facing, or if it's even on, or if the mic is on, or... Uh, there's so much to vlogging, but it helps discipline you in more ways than one. And actually, if there's any profession out there that's probably the easiest to profit off your creative abilities is to become a YouTuber. The only thing is you obviously have to figure out how to use editing programs, but nowadays, it's just a search away. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us close but we're strangers Okay, so here's the plan Because my cut job wasn't the straightest Like, look Look! Straight, straight, straight Whoop! Um, the top cabinets, the bottom cabinets, and then this drawer. But my idea, I've already done it with this one. I'm gonna meticulously strain all these pieces out. But I don't have a sanding belt or anything, so we're gonna have to do it with this and just make sure that we get it as straight as we can. doing this, I now know that this garage is still missing a lot of stuff that would have made this job a lot more efficient. Uh, like a belt sander, obviously I don't have the right cutting tools. <laughs> um, but yeah, this took me almost two and a half hours. Oh, maybe a table saw too, that would be amazing. Don't really have space for that kind of stuff here, so make do with what you got, right? So let's just finish this up, we've been here for too long. I have a puppy to take care of at home. And also I'm getting kind of hungry, so we're just gonna montage this part. I'm gonna install these with the hinges and uh, probably call it a day here. You get it. With the long willy calm, really, and it ain't even about the fame, it's about the bread lost. 
nigga intern, shorty take me to the bus Know they tried to count me out but couldn't count high enough I ain't gotta hear the album, listen to them lie enough Oh, mother... Now, as you guys can see, we're only half finished here. I ran out of hinges and Rona closed, so we're gonna have to finish this up tomorrow. But we got something. I only literally have one side of the bottom part of this cabinet on. You just gotta figure out the shelves, which is pretty basic. Yeah, cabinet system. Now, the only other thing too is to keep them closed, I have to add some magnets, but you guys get the gist. We'll just finish this up tomorrow. Plus, I also ran out of wood anyway, so there's no point. I wasn't able to make it super clean, so what I'm gonna have to do is grind these screws down just so the front of this is flush. And then my idea is probably just paint it black completely or we can wrap it because you know what? Sometimes you can actually get away with wrapping things. This is actually looking like someone's house or at least like a mini kitchen or something. We got our sink with a working faucet and the cabinet. So obviously we still gotta cut these pieces out in wood. Gotta attach the rest of the hinges, create our drawer, put all of the handles on the cabinet doors. And then also there's a missing wall over here, but I still have to figure out that extendable uh, table part. I'll figure it out, but I think we can actually have it so that it covers this part, but it can go up when we need it to. Guys, this is turning out. I'm impressed. Like I said earlier, guys, the thing about running two YouTube channels, especially like two completely different realms, one is my art channel and this one. One is physically demanding and the other is mentally demanding. And then at the end of everything, I just become super exhausted. So I have to like pace myself and that's kind of why I wasn't able to keep up with the dailies, but I have an idea for that come December. Uh, and right now, I'm kind of just still figuring out my life schedule, if that makes sense. Hopefully, whatever little thing I'm doing to this XB is helpful in any way to you guys, and whatever endeavors you're taking on, or whatever I do in this, it doesn't have to be the furniture building, but this is what I find the most fun in, is just creating stuff. It doesn't always have to be installing car parts, guys. Take it from me. Okay, appreciate y'all for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Save us. The other thing too about daily vlogging is you have to become super selective about what you film throughout the day because like you can't have the camera on all the time and I doubt you'd want to be filming all of the super personal private stuff like obviously you're not going to film yourself taking a piss well I mean people do that